Limiters are similar in function to compressors. The main difference is that limiters will not only reduce peaks, but limit them to a predetermined level. A brick wall limiter, such as Boost 11, will ensure that a predetermined level is never exceeded regardless of input level and can help to boost the loudness of a signal by boosting it but also ensuring that it never clips. There is of course a trade-off. Boosting a level too much but still squashing the peaks results in a very compressed signal which can soon become very unpleasant to listen to. Boost 11 is one such limiter and uses a very simple interface. It works by looking ahead at incoming material so it knows in advance how much compression needs to take place to prevent clipping. This means that there is latency of around 1.5 milliseconds introduced when using this plugin. It also has a program dependent release similar to that that we've already seen on some of the compressors that we've looked at. Let's take a look at the interface. There are three meters, one for input, one for output, and a one in the center indicates how much peak reduction is taking place at any one time. There are only two adjustable parameters. The first is boost, and this controls how much the volume of the material is boosted by. It can be set by moving the boost knob or adjusting the fader to the left of the incoming wave display. The other adjustable parameter is the output. This is controlled by the output knob or the fader to the right of the output wave display. This is used to set the maximum peak allowed. Use the incoming wave display as a guide to the amount of boost to add. When I start playback shortly, you'll see the red part of the peaks indicating the portion of the signal that has been compressed or limited and the output waveform display shows the resulting waveform after processing. The idea is to boost the signal to a reasonable level, but without too many red or squashed peaks. Let's have a listen back. That's the Boost 11 brick wall limiter.